I have just realized how powerful the ping TCP command is in the Cisco ASA firewall. This command really has nothing to do with pings. What the command does is to send a TCP sync packet to a certain destination on a specific destination port and wait for a SYNAC packet in return. In its most simple form, you can run a ping TCP, a destination and a port. In my example here, I send a ping TCP to www.google.com on port 443. Like other pings in Cisco devices, it defaults to five sent packets, but this can be changed with the repeat parameter. As you can see here, we got five exclamation marks, which means that the firewall receives five TCP SYNAX from Google. But it doesn't stop there. The command can also spoof the source address to emulate a packet sent through the firewall. This firewall has two interfaces, one outside and one inside. The inside address 10.0.0.1.24. In this uh, topology, there is currently no host on the inside. The outside is connected to internet and there is a dynamic net configured to hide the internal 10 network behind the outside interface IP address. Let's try the ping tcp command with specifying a non-existent host on the inside. I run the command ping tcp inside www.google.com 443 source 10.0.0.1.2.3 space 12345. I specify the inside interface in the command to tell the firewall that the packet comes from the inside interface. The 12345 in the end is the source port of that packet. The port number that in most cases is randomly selected by the source device. I run the command and get five replies back. That's good. But what's really happened? I have a packet capture running in the background recording packets on the outside interface. If we look at the result from the capture, we can see that there was packets sent out and received. Note that the source address of our outbound TCP packets are the outside interface address of the firewall because of the net. I have also verified with a packet capture on the inside interface of the firewall that the SYNAC packets are not sent out on the inside interface. So what this command does is to spoof the source address of the outbound TCP SYN packet. It recognizes and presents the return packet and do not send the return packet back to the spoofed source address. If I break the NAT configuration of the firewall, I can see that the ping does not get any replies back. Looking at the packet capture on the outside shows that this is because the NAT configuration is really used. Now the source address is really the private 10 address and that's why the return packet cannot find its way back to the firewall. The conclusion I draw from this is that the outbound packet is actually injected in the traffic flow before the NAT and access list filtering instances. So it can be used to troubleshoot all kinds of issues with the traffic flow, including bad ACL and NAT configuration. I really recommend you to play around with this command and have it as a one of your troubleshooting tools. I will. Thanks for watching this video. Please visit my website netzero.net for more security related material. See you.